Hi gorgeous beauties, welcome to my channel. Today's video, I wanted to share with you what's in my makeup bag. If you're interested in seeing what's inside, then just please keep watching. So I purchased this big traveling makeup bag from Walmart. It holds so many pouches and things inside of here. I just keep it on the side of my vanity. When I'm ready to get ready, I just pull the whole bag and I have everything that I need inside. So I just put a little white palm off to the side of it. The whole thing cost about just 20 bucks at Walmart. It was out during Christmas time. So I'll pull out my big case first. And I'm going to go through everything kind of quickly. Um, I have a matte compact. This is called Give Me Sun. It's a really nice bronzer that I like to use during the summer. you got to use it sparingly because it could make you look kind of like too bronze. But if you use it sparingly... Um, like on the cheekbones or for contour. It gives you a nice warm tan look and it's just beautiful. Then I have a regular Studio Fix MAC Compact. Um, the sticker came off so I don't really recall. They're like NC30 or something like that. Then I have a Sephora Compact. It's a trio. It's called a Micro Smooth Trio and it comes with a bronzer, a blush, and highlight. So I love this in my purse just kind of a three-in-one and look how beautiful that highlight is and i have some lashes these are called salon perfect go glam multi-pack number 615 i have one left i found these at walmart and they are quite doll-like the way they're separated so i like these for a little bit not so dramatic days with lashes but still very noticeable and pretty makes a look your makeup look just stand out a little bit more then I have these vegan lashes I've shown before. They're faux mink lashes by Jameer, and I actually have those on today. And um, I love these a lot, and I got these off of Amazon, and it comes with five of them just for $8. Then I have my, it's uh, for brunettes, but there's also a blonde one. And this is by Physicians Formula. I really love the pink compact. I've repurchased this product a couple of times. And it just kind of highlights your face, gives you a nice glow. Also love using this during the summertime. And then I have this Too Faced Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo Pomegranate. I've been showing this a lot lately because it is my go-to blush and is on me today. It smells very good too. It's scented, so when you apply it, you just get a nice little pomegranate fragrance. This also smells good. I love scented makeup. It's so enjoyable to put on. Um, this one's called Paradise Enchanted by L'Oreal Paris. It's a peach scent, and I am using a little bit of this today too. This peach color and this color here I had as a transition color. Um, then I did smoke it out with black, and then I have this under my brown bow, brow bone, and it's really shimmery. I sometimes also use it for a highlighter. It's right here. It's really pretty and shiny as well. I have that like on my nose today. And then I have this Midnight Garden Shimmery Eyeshadow Palette. And I was loving this during October um, with the bright colors and some glitter pigments. Really pretty. Of course, I can't do anything without my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This is a go-to must to have inside of my makeup bag. Um, I just use for highlighting and setting my concealer. I do need a new one soon. And then these are the colors that I use to contour my face. I have a little travel on the go. It's by Sunkiss Bronze and Blush. And it's like a little four quad. And it has a highlight, bronzer, and two blushes to choose from. I like this big circle compact. And then I have a cryptic open nude shadows palette. That's what this looks like. Um, this is also a go-to that I love to use, especially when I want to bedazzle my eyes. I love these glitters right here. Then the foundation I'm using right now is by L'Oreal, number 105, 24 hour wear, infallible. Highly recommend it. It's like a mousse texture, but just goes on flawless to the base. Ooh, wearing it today. But I highly recommend underneath that, you can find this at Walmart. It's by NYX and it's called Angel Veil. Vale professional makeup and it's a skin perfecting primer and it truly is ever I really never used primer before I would just put some moisturizer and then add on my foundation but now sometimes when I get hot and sweaty it's 
especially it starts like on my upper lip. I'll start kind of getting sweaty. I haven't had that. My face stays very matte. You'll see the matte look once you apply this. I have put this on one of my get ready. So you want to check that out and see how it looks. My makeup stays on all day long and doesn't move even when I get hot or sweaty. Um, so I highly recommend this. It gives your makeup a really pretty flawless look and truly does cover your pores, if any. Then I have my Maybelline New York Master Camo. It's a color corrector. I do highly recommend. Sometimes I have a little lack of sleep and my eyes get a little bit purple underneath. I'll use this for a little extra help. And for another tip, I like to take a spoon, set it in the freezer. Or sometimes there's um, cucumber pads that I have, but sometimes if I run out of that, I'll go with the spoon method. But either the cucumber pads or the spoon, stick it in the freezer overnight, whatever, for a few hours. And then put the cucumber packs over your eyes. That'll help any puffiness and a little bit of the darkness to go away before you apply your makeup in the morning or take the spoon and just set it kind of under this area same thing it'll help you puff your eyes so just quick emergency say you have like photo shoot pictures you want to take that day um, those are some things to help with puffiness or dark circles under your eyes but i do highly recommend this product and then i have a Too Faced highlighter palette um, the colors are vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate. This is also a scented palette. It's really cute. It has like little sweet treats. Um, ice creams on the front. Very easy to travel with. I love using this highlighter palette. I've mixed it, so I have this on my face as well. Then the mirror comes with like a cute little ice cream right there. So very convenient to travel around with. Very affordable too. I found this at TJ Maxx. Then I have my elf eyebrow kit and i do like to apply this first then i'll use anastasia to kind of um, deepen the color of my brows and just kind of straighten them out a little bit more i have this wet and wild palette got this at five below during um, october it's called the boo crew i love it i love the dark colors inside here especially that charcoal black that's what i use to smoke out my eyes today i have this really um it's like shows you 10 times the magnification on your face. Yeah, I love it when I pluck my eyebrows and stuff like that and I want perfection. I go in with this baby right here. And then you're probably sick and tired of seeing this, but I love it. It's a daily use. It's a go-to Rainforest of the Sea Foil Finger Face Quad. I have two of them, so one as a backup. And I like just putting this on the top of my lids. It's nice for a natural day. You want to look dewy, bronzy kind of sun-kissed. This is bomb.com. It's about $32 at Sephora. Then I have this Bare Minerals Invisible Glow. I like to use this as a setting powder all over my face after my full makeup application is on and it gives me a beautiful glow. It's like a marbleized, gorgeous color. It's in tan and I also found this for an affordable price. I believe about $7 at TJ Maxx. Also at TJ Maxx, they just have bomb makeup. You got to kind of search certain TJ Maxx's, but they have them also marshall's marshall's has really affordable two-faced uh, palettes for just about 20 bucks instead of 55 from sephora here's a laura geller powder i also enjoy this one also looks kind of marbleized and then i have a makeup forever pro sculpting dual and this one is a highlighter as well as a contour and then I have this Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter, and I do recommend it. Mm, it has a wonderful, like, coconut smell. I've already hit pan on that, but it's bomb.com, uh, especially during summer. It's one of my go-to favorites right here. See that highlight? It is here. It's very shiny. Yeah, I just love it to death. Okay, and then I have my primer for my eyeshadow. And it's by Cara. So if I really want my eyeshadow to stick or I'm using like bright color shadows, I'll just put some of this primer on. And then I have a hair tie. Just need to move my bangs or throw my hair up to get ready. So that's that pouch there. And then in my bag, I have this little bronzy pouch. And inside of here, I have a BB mascara. Then I have this NYX candy stick and it says glow lip color and it's a really pretty pink baby doll pink bubble gum ish put some on this hand 
gorge, right? Goodie for Valentine's coming up. All right, and then I have my holiday cookie from Bath and Body Works. Just a little extra shine and shimmer. I'll put that on my natural days, and I just want lip gloss, little foundation and lip gloss. Um, I have the Ruby Kisses Crystal Gloss. It's a really pretty pink. Then I have this Revlon matte color, and it's like a purplish pink. Um, I gotta be honest, I hardly wear it, but it is gorgeous. I don't know why I really don't reach for it, but it's pretty. I think because I just have other go-to favorite pinks. This one's a little bit more pigmented than NYX one. This one looks a little more like watered down. So that's probably why I don't reach for it. Um, and then I love chapstick, especially if I'm always wearing, you know, matte lipsticks and just, just period. It's winter. It's cold. I don't like chappy, nasty lips. So Barbie, um, chapstick. And then I also have my strawberry chapstick. My eyelash glue. I use the cream shop. Um, I try a bunch of eyelash glue, so... Um, I have some in my purse as well, just in case for touch-ups. This one is the clear one. And then I also have the black one, which I keep trying to squeeze out, and it's still giving me some products, so I'm using that. I love using the black one instead of the my clear or white. And then I have a Milani number no. 9, I've swatched this before, Pink Frost Lipstick. And I do have that on right now. So it's in the middle of of my eyeline, um, lip liner. Okay, and then I have a gel Sephora lip liner, and this is like a burgundy color, but it is called Rose Wine Number no. Three. And this is like my go-to um, color. My lips are quite small, especially my top lips, so I do like to overline them just a tad bit. But a darker color just helps bring out my lips a little bit more if i just stick like a pink gloss with no lip liner it looks like i don't have any lips really <laughs> they look awfully small and then i have this k beauty eyebrow pencil i do use that like for the tail and just to light underneath my brows it's a really nice um, good wooden brow pencil and i also got this from cvs for about seven dollars i do highly recommend it it has a little spoolie on the other end and then you know, the pencil part. And that one is in dark brown. And then this I highly recommend also. It's by Joa, same brand as the eyebrow pencil from CVS, under $10. This is my new go-to, a jam. I don't even have to use um, my little master camo that I was showing you for the darkness under your eyes. I just put on my primer, foundation. Next step is the concealer. Kind of put it... Um, a little bit right here on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, chin, a little bit underneath my contour, and of course underneath my eyes, and it's so flawless. It's a really nice formula, doesn't crease up during the day, just set it right after with some powder, and you are good to go. Love it. I will repurchase it. I'm going to buy a couple of them next time. Then I have this Anastasia liquid lipstick. This one is called Crush, and it's a pretty pink mauve color right here. I love it. I love Anastasia liquid lipsticks. They don't get sticky or start building up on your lip. Very smooth. My Milani Chromatic Addict lip gloss. I've swatched this a million times as well, but for any newbies, I'll do it again. And that's right here. Really gorgeous color, especially for summer, but I use it all year round. I really do. I saw this in a girl's What's in My Bag video. It looked beautiful on her. I was like, I need that in my life. Been using it ever since. Roll up my sleeve so swatches don't get on that. Okay. Then I have this Buxom. It's by, um, well, the name is called Kelly. It's just a clear gloss, but it's a lip plumper. And just tingles a little bit, but feels very refreshing. Kind of like a minty, little taste and scent. So I love that. Also, for more of my natural days, I really don't use it for the plumping. I don't even think I notice any lip plumping going on, but it's just a pretty formula. Looks nice on. 
I have another Anastasia liquid lipstick, and this one is called Naked. Um, I hardly use this one, but sometimes I do. It is gorge, nice nude color right here. Plays up a nice burgundy um, lip liner. Then I have my other concealer that I was using before, but now it's a dump. Um, the Maybelline concealer, the Fit Me. It's just I had to keep putting it on, and sometimes it even burned my skin. So I thought this was my favorite drugstore, but it's not anymore. Then I have this Wet n Wild lip liner. It's also an easy gel glide lip liner, two, three dollars at CVS, Walgreens. Love it. It's also another burgundy color. It's just a cheaper version right here of the Sephora one. This one's a little bit more brown tone. This one's more of the burgundy. And that's what I'm wearing today. And then I have my Gemini Wet n Wild Gloss. This one is called Gemini. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and it's just really pretty and shimmery right here. And I usually like to put that on top of the matte Chromatic Attic Milani one that I just showed you because it does dry matte. So just to spruce it up, it's like the liquid gloss version of this color. They match so well together. Hmm. It's retouching up. All right. And then I have um, my pink gumdrop, really gorge. You know, if you're a pink lover, have to have that. Um, another chapstick backup. This is my H2O waterproof eyeliner. It's one of my favorite go-tos. The tip is really easy just to flick out your wing. Um, NYX Powder Puff Pink Lippy. I'm going to start going right here now. My wrist, really bright pink. And then I have a black L'Oreal charcoal eyeliner. I have another Wet n Wild felt tip eyeliner. This one's great too, and it's not waterproof. The waterproof one really is hard to get off. You gotta use the micellar water and scrub, scrub, scrub a bit. Um, I have this Wet n Wild white pencil. Um, I love to use this. I got it at Five Below during Halloween time, and it's really nice if you wanna use color pigments. Really helps your um, if you put it on before and then get like a pretty pink shadow, colorful shadow, put it right on top of it. It helps it to stand out that much, you know, better. I have this MAC Lippy and this one's called a Mineralized Rich Bold Spring. I honestly don't really wear it, but it is pretty. I, I liked it when I bought it. Um, it's kind of pink purpley, but I don't reach for it that much. Creature of habit. I like doing that lip combo with the eyeliner and the Gemini and the Chromatic Dad Milani one. If I don't do that, then I'm always either with a pink lippy, which is this one here. Um, then I have a melted pink Too Faced liquid lipstick, and this one's called Melted Fuchsia. This one's also very bright. This one's hot, hot pink, like reddish pink. Really nice Valentine color. And then I have a Ruby Kisses glitter eyeliner. So I like to put my regular black eyeliner on, let that dry, and then I'll go ahead and go over this. I also have it in silver and gold. Where they're at right now, I don't know, but I have this one because it's my most uh, reach for one, this charcoaly, gray sparkly one, and just brings out your eyeliner. Looks a little glittery, but not too much. Then I have this Becca liquid highlighter I got from TJ Maxx. Um, another lip liner, and this one's by NYX. Another burgundy go-to color and an Anastasia pomade for your brows and I love it. It just really makes your brows lay straight, lasts all day, and is waterproof. Can't go wrong with this. Um, and it's in dark brown. My next pouch I have in my bag, this one here, it's just my makeup brush holder. So they're just all in here. My contours, my highlighter brushes, foundation brushes. And I always usually have one beauty blender with me. I love using the beauty blender to um, set my powder underneath my eyes. And lately I have been doing for go to using a flat top foundation brush and it's bomb. It's by a company called Japanesque and I got those brushes from Walmart. 
ever since I bought them, been loving it. My go-to usually was the Beauty Blender, now it's that flat top Japonesque brush. Then I have this pink little small sparkly one. This one was actually in one of my bags. I took it out and just put it in here. Actually gotta put some of the stuff that's in here away. This is gonna stay in my makeup bag though. These are just no strips. So when I like to do my you know, weekly little facials, I throw one of those babies on. Um, I have these Sante nail polish removers with cuticle oil and it's peach scented. They're just polish remover little circle um, wipes. You don't have to have the bottle and do all that business. Just swipe away with that, a little pad. And then I didn't have any light pinks on me, so I got by Ruby Kisses this light pink and it's called Tarot Bubble. The light's kind of washing it out, but it's a baby pink. And then um, this one's called Strawberry Shortcake. And then I have another backup of the strawberry shortcake because it was so pretty. So use those sometime. And then I have in here that was in my purse. Um, I was wearing my hair straight, so I like to carry this around. It's by Pantene. And you just take off this little clear slip cover like that. It protects it because if not, see, it's really powerful the way it flings open. Um, but it's like this. And it has like wax on each side so you can either use it kind of like a straightener and get your strand of hair and go like this to it and just sleek it down like I said use it like a straightener on the go or if I don't want to do that I just take some balm on my hands and lay down any flyaways but it's a really nice little traveler it doesn't get your hands all sticky and stuff you've got to take your big old bottle of gel and hairspray and all that this is a nice quick fix Pantene then in my bag, I have my two Beauty Creation Sweet Treats little palettes. The palettes are very cute with all the sugar treats on it, ice cream, and they are scented as well. These palettes only go for about eight bucks. I even got one for $7.50. Um, this one's really cute. This is the first one that I bought. I love all the goodies all around it. Um, and they work really good and smooth. So they are by Beauty Creations. That is the brand. You can probably look them up online. Not sure if Amazon sells them. I usually get them at a kiosk at my main mall. And $7.50 to $8. Um, this one here is gorge. I love using these peachy colors for transitions. And then just for my lighter days when I don't smoke out with my black. I have these darker brown colors and then the pink palette kind of similar to the other one just not as dark but this one's more of I like using this one more at summertime this gives you a nice shimmery bronze type look but do highly recommend these two palettes very pretty for your vanity and the packaging and they also work really well and for my face, I found these during Christmas time at Dee Dee's Discounts. Brand name is okay. I got them for $3.99 each. I'm going to go back and stock up because when the transition of winter was coming, I was starting to break out. I was having little bumps in the center of my forehead right here. And then I was just noticing little blemishes popping up. My face really doesn't get blemishes. That's very much an odd thing <laughs> for my skin. My skin is pretty... Um, clear most of the time except for maybe during the monthly time sometimes a blemish could pop up or two but normally after that passes my face goes back to being really clear so I was noticing it wasn't going away and I said what is going on right here and I was just getting really oily so and usually during the winter I get actually dry underneath my eyes but instead this winter I was turning oily so it was causing blemishes from that so I found these goodies and they've cured me. My little bumps are gone now. Skin is back to flawlessness. And um, this one I got for blemish control and this one is oil control. Now I've been using these for about going on to three months, but already after two and a half weeks, I was noticing such a difference in my face. My makeup application was going on that much more smoother. I was feeling a lot more confident, bare-faced and I'm not having those breakouts anymore. And it comes in gentle, moderate, or deep. Both of these are in deep. Yes, these two products have really saved my skin and got it back to where it was. Then I have this little clear pouch and it came with the whole little traveling bag, but it came with a loofah and some empty 
bottles to stick shampoo or whatever you want. I just ended up sticking some more essentials. So I have my Cucumber Mac Fix Plus, which helps um, just for a whole bunch of smoothness. It gives, it, you could use it for a setting spray. I like using it when I put on powder and then you spray it, go in with the beauty blender. It just makes it look seamless and flawless. It makes all the powders just go seamless into the face instead of looking kind of powdery faced. Um, highly recommend if you're a heavy makeup wearer as myself. And um, then I have this watermelon gel moisturizer. This works excellent also. I put this underneath my makeup foundation I did today before my primer. Smells really good. It also comes with watermelon makeup wipes. And then I have my Evian facial spray just for touch up. I like taking these usually for travel. I don't use this during my makeup application. This is after makeup application, traveling around, and I just want to feel fresh and it makes your makeup just come back alive again. And then this baby right here is called Flawless. I got it for Christmas. I really wanted it. It's about 20 bucks. You can find it at Walgreens, Walmart. And it doesn't go near like, you know, a vibrate or anything like that. You turn on the side light here so you can see exactly what you're doing. So us ladies, we sometimes get peach fuzz on our face a little bit more than others, but it's a fact, you know, we get that. Um, I get extremely irritated when, um, you know, for your upper lip kind of hair, ladies, you know, we get that. So um, mine doesn't go all the way across my lip, kind of just goes on each side, a little bit of fuzz, like right here and right here. So I don't like to get lip waxes because that puts my skin in a whole irritating cycle, messes me up for like ever. It makes me break out even more and looks red, ugly, bumpy. I don't like it or appreciate it. So we don't do that here. Um, I love using the Flawless. I have for years. Um, but the one I was using before that was this one. So they're both by Flawless. This one's more of a quicker turn on the side button. Also has a little light just to go in circular motions around your face and just helps you get the big spots. This one helps you do finer spots underneath your eyebrows. You just kind of hold your skin and then at a 45 degree angle, you go through your face like this. And as you're doing that, you just see a little peach fuzz like flying around. You're like, whoa. And then you touch your face and it also helps exfoliate your face. So it's also doing that for you. But your face is so smooth, like a little baby. And the application of your foundation looks great. And, you know, when you go outside, you see that peach fuzz, ladies. Mm -hmm, that sunlight be telling the truth. So, you know, I know some people like to hide under dim lighting when they're getting ready. Like, I've heard one of my friends would push, I don't like this lighting. It's, like, so bright. And I'm like, but it's the truth. You should get ready in truth with good bright lighting. So when you go outside and you're putting your best face forward you know, you get all those things. So this is part of my beauty routine and it's a flawless 20 bucks. Use it all the time. And your hair doesn't grow back thicker or coarse or anything like that. You will appreciate it and it'll become your best friend as it's become mine. <laughs> and then I have an It Cosmetics No Tug Roll Up Black Eyeliner. Um, I have very sensitive eyes. Sometimes moisturizer and eyeliners can burn them and just mess up my whole application because it'll make my eyes water all day. But that It Cosmetics does not do that. Very uh, good for sensitive eyes. And then I have a sample It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. And this works pretty good as well. I have some eye drops just in case when I'm tired. And it just gives you a fresh look in the morning just to... Nice, clean, crisp, white eyes. Um, I'll put a little drop in each eye before the makeup application. I have another cool It Cosmetics. Um, I just highly recommend It Cosmetics moisturizer. This one works really good too. I sometimes take it in my purse so little. If it's windy or I'm not really wearing too much makeup, I could just apply it lightly to my face. And then I have my go-to Revlon Eyebrow Pluckers. I use these to also apply my falsy eyelashes. Lastly, in my bag, I have this uh, silver sequence pouch. Purchased it from Five Below during the holidays. And in here is just kind of where I keep my facial stuff um, when I pamper. So I have a hydrating rose water face mask. I have exfoliating pink salt clay face mask. You can also 
brand name Freeman. You can get Freeman products at Five Below and also Ulta if you want the bigger bottles. Then I have a detoxifying charcoal mud face mask. And then these are different blades to the Flawless that you can change, but the one that was in there when I bought it works perfectly fine, so I haven't even used those. And then I have this pomegranate peel-off face mask, a little small travel version. So all my little face doodahs just fit in here. I don't got to take the big ones with me if I don't want. And that is everything for my travel bag. I appreciate you beauties watching. I hope you have a great day. Until next time. Bye.